So this is our ninth annual Give Love Play Hockey event, which is insane. Um, our first year, I think we had 26 teams, and today, this year, it's 107 teams, to over 1,000 hockey players, all divisions. We even have a six and under division this year, which is amazing. We love our future little hockey players. Um, but it's all for Chalk Children's Hospital. We have an epic blood drive this year. I think we're gonna pass that 2,000 pint mark, which is enough to save 6,000 lives here in Orange County. You know, what's really changed for us too is we have sadly met families that have been affected. So, you know, we lost one player eight months into the first tournament. Casey unfortunately passed away two years ago and now Nico's fighting leukemia. And it's become really personal for us because this is real. And so the more that we're touched by it, the more that we want to help. And we just can't stop until we find something that cures these kids. First of all, we found out when, when our son was struggling with cancer, how big a heart the, the hockey community does have. We were surrounded with, with love and support, and this tournament actually came about to our family at the perfect time because we were struggling and the tournament organizers reached out to us and we became part of the tournament family and have been helping promote it ever since. It's been five years now since the Quails reached out to us and um, we met them in 2009 and Casey was in a coma and we told them he'll be here next year and he was and he won every skills event that year in 2010 walked off with all the prizes and he loved this event he just he would text his friend going I have three ice games four hockey games to give blood today why can't every day be like this so he just this, this is his heart and soul, so that's why we're here, because this is where he'd want us to be. It's amazing to see the outcome, uh, to see all the support of all the people that come out, the people that actually do donate their blood, their time, their money. They know all these efforts are going to Chalk Hospital, and thanks to Give Blood Play Hockey, they've made our stay at Chalk a lot better from the medical rooms that they were able to provide and all the research the money is going towards so other kids like Nico don't have to suffer as much as he has already. Hockey is a big, big part of our lives. He has something to look forward to every day um, and to have fun with it and uh, to go out and skate and have fun. Uh, it kind of gives him a sense that he's doing something and that he, uh, that he has something to look forward to to play instead of dealing with his treatment all the time. You know, what I really think it was Casey because the first couple of years, you know, we were doing all right. But once we met Casey and their family got involved with us, this thing has completely taken off. And the support that we're getting for him, even though he's not here, he's still the heart of this tournament, still the ambassador. We think about him every day. We're really close with that family. They're a big part of this tournament. And everyone comes back for that, even the kids that unfortunately aren't here. Their families are still involved and we're all going to stay involved and you just can't forget once you get to see it. Get Blood Play Hockey! What an awesome weekend! The four-day event Give Blood Play Hockey helped collect over 1,600 pints of blood and an amazing half a million dollars for Chalk Children's Hospital. Donating blood is a simple act that we can all do to help those desperately in need.